Okay, now I'm going to show you a way of getting what's similar to a half Nelson kind of move on this guy. It's going to end up being a combination neck crank and arm bar. You can do whatever you want to do. He's free to, to be struck and so on. I've established a good cross chest position. My hips are low, I'm off my knees. Again, I want to drive here. I want to cut this far arm. I'm going to lower my chest, I'm going to get off my knees, and I'm going to drive to right here. It's at this point that I'm going to, and I'll show you this from the other side, I'm bringing my left knee up tight against his chest, or against his back, I mean, so he can't roll back into me. I'm holding him pretty tight. Now what I want to do is I'm just going to bring my leg over and insert it right where my hand was, and now okay. I have a very good arm line, and all I have to do is lean forward and pull back and get a head lock. Now, I also have, this, I have to release this, I also have this firearm again that I can pull up on and torture okay. and tie him up in several ways. Let's look at the entry again. This is slow. I'm holding him down. I want to get a far Nelson. I lower my chest and I drive to here, bring my knee up. Insert my leg. And then here we are. I'll do it from this side so you can see what's happening. Low. Driving. I bring this knee up. Nice. I bring my foot in. And this is the tie. I can also monitor his legs. I can cradle him if I'd like. I can attack any arm I want. I can pull okay. up. This way, okay. this way. I have a lot of options from that position. Now what's happening here is we're putting an extreme crank on his neck. This is not that difficult to do. Let me give you an insight on how to do these Nelsons. When you're here, and once you've established this, the key is to constantly lower my chest. I don't want to be high. If I'm way high, there is a possibility he'll roll all the way over and he might get me. Now this still doesn't mean that this move is going to fail. I still might be able to okay. stretch him out. And what I've done here is, if we can pirouette this way, you can see how I've trapped his arm and got his head. So I still have a nasty submission on this guy. but. I chained into that. I should never have, never had to get to that position. So without actually cranking Bruce, I won't even put my hand behind his neck. What I want you to get used to is just, just turn slow for me. As he's rolling, you constantly want to readjust and always keep your hips low, lower than his center of gravity. Okay? If you ever find the opponent in this position, you know, a lock. It's just a second away.